Welcome to Play Resource Inspiration Channel. Today I am going to make funky foam jewellery. For this you will need from the Play Resource shop wire, funky foam, crimps, hammer beads, ruler, scissors, skewer, double sided tape and jewellery findings from your local shop, pliers and a beading tool. First step of the necklace is to cut out the squares. We do this by measuring out the funky foam. We just use scissors as the funky foam is nice and soft and easy to use. One centimetre squares are what we're using today, but you can also cut out different sizes such as half an inch or even different shapes such as triangles or circles. For this step we're going to make a Swiss roll bead. Okay, first we take our first sheet which is red, um, some double sided tape which we then place down on it, peel off your paper and then place your other sheet on top. So for this bead we have to cut again one centimetre. So we now have a strip um, of two layers. We now roll this up to make a Swiss roll like effect. You can roll the longer it is the bigger the bead's going to be. So you can decide how big you want your size okay and then cut it. I'm going to go for this size so that now gives me a measurement to cut from. So I can then cut other strips the same length. So we'll pop a little bit of double sided tape on the end. We'll make about seven of these. Now we need to make the holes into the squares and the beads. To do this we use the beading awl. A darning needle could also be used or a cocktail stick. With small children it is valuable for them just to use the cocktail stick with the squares. It's also um, a good idea to have something soft under the foam um, for the hole then to pierce into. The Swiss roll beads, an adult, um, would need to do this with the beading awl or a darning needle. I'm also putting the needle through the bead um, so it comes through the end, okay, rather than through this way. And that helps hold the end. So that's the beads now with all the holes made through them. Now we're going to lay out the design. We'll use some black hammer beads to separate the squares and we'll then cut our wire to length um, so it's able to thread through. We are working from the middle outwards. So you take your centre bead and thread through. Okay, when we have the most of the necklace finished, I'll just put on some more hammer beads just up here so it'll be more comfortable wearing around the back of the neck. So we'll finish it there, leaving us enough little wire to finish off the ends. For the final stage of the necklace, um, we attach the clasp. First of all, you put on a small bead, um, so the crimp can't fall through the hammer bead. So the small crimp on, we then loop the wire round through the crimp and down through the beads. With our flat pliers, we then squeeze the crimp. This will form a loop. We then do this on the other side, so we have two loops at the end of our necklace. The jump rings are opened with a twist in action. So use your flat pliers and twist through the loop. Okay, and twist close again. And this one we attach the catch as well. And your catch goes in there. And that's the finished necklace. Now we're going to do the earrings. Okay, so have head pins. Uh, we'll start with a smaller bead again so it doesn't fall off the end as the head pin has a wee stopper on the end. And again, we'll put a little smaller bead at the top. I'm going to cut one centimetre above the bead um, to form the loop. To cut it, we use the, the snips. Okay, and as you're cutting as a safety measure, we always cut down to the table or try to hold on to the excess wire. We then fold this out to like a, a right angle, and then with our round nose pliers, we're holding the wire and it's a twist action where we're going up and over. Then to attach the earring hook, we twist the loop open, 
attach the earring hook on, hold it upside down, it's a little tip to keep it out of the way, and twist that loop back closed again. Make sure it's all closed over so the earring hook can't fall off. And that's the earrings finished. All the materials I've used today are available at Play Resource.